In this video, we will be discussing about Rectangular Waveguide TM Mode. As in the previous videos, we have already understood what is called as modal propagation, right? If you change the values of m, you will have a discrete patterns, right? So that is what is called as modal propagation. Now let us try to understand what do you mean by a TM mode, which is nothing but stand for transverse magnetic mode, okay? Now what I am going to do is, let us say that if I draw the same diagram which I have drawn previously, so there is a two plate here. Now, when you say TM mode, it means your magnetic field or should not have any component along the direction of propagation. It means the direction of propagation if it is Z, then magnetic field should not have any component along the Z direction. Let us understand this by this small figure. Let us say that this is my electric field and this is how it is propagating. So this is E. So what we are saying is the magnetic field is outside, okay? It is outside the board. So what I am doing, if I take again my right hand, this is my magnetic field. You see the direction of propagation, right? So I have to point the thumb in the direction of propagation. This is my electric field and this is how the magnetic field, right? If I hit here again the reflection, it would be like this. So magnetic field is all the point, it is outside the board, right? So can I say that if this is outside the board, it is perpendicular to the direction of propagation. Yes, we know that it, it has to be perpendicular, right? But it will not have any component along the Z direction, okay? That is what me, it means that your HZ should be equal to zero. For the magnetic field, the component along the direction of propagation should be zero. But will the component if I ask, will the component of electric field across the z direction would be 0? The answer is no. What happens is, if you draw the component for the electric field, you will have a component, right? Because this is what is the direction of propagation, right? The z direction is this, okay? So if you see, this component of electric field is along the direction of z. It means electric field is not perpendicular. All I can say that all the components of electric field is not perpendicular to the direction of propagation. It means E will have a component along the Z axis, right? So E will have a two components along this axis and along this axis, right? Okay. So what we have understood is transverse magnetic mode is nothing but where your magnetic field will, have, will not have any component along the direction of propagation, which is nothing but in this case it is Z, okay? So but we know that the electric field will have a component along the Z direction, right? If I want to write it down that component, the EZ would be comes out to be, if I want to write down the EZ component in case of TM mode, it will be nothing but C sin M pi X by A sin N pi Y by B. Now somebody can ask from where I have written this equation. Okay, let us understand this. Let us say that I have a rectangular waveguide. The length and breadth, okay, the length and breadth, so this is A and this is B. The length and breadth of the rectangular waveguide is being measured by this A and B. So this is clear, this A and B, right? M nothing but, it stands for that modal propagation. We will see that what is M later. The M stands for the modal propagation. So we know that E, electric field in this case will have a component along the z direction which I have written. This equation has been derived from the rectangular waveguide, right? So you can derive this equation and you can find it out what will be EZ component, okay? Now if somebody can ask, if I am writing TM, so what I am saying is if I am writing TM and some mode here, it will be M comma N, this is what they call it as a mode, okay? Which all mode will exist for an electric field? Let us see that. If I put m is equal to 0, it means if m equal to 0 and n equal to 0, what will happen to Ez? Sin 0, again sin 0. So this Ez will become 0, right? If Ez is 0, it means this Ez component itself goes to 0, right? It means there is no component of electric field exist across this, right? across the Z, right? It means it is not true, right? It should not happen because if the electric field is like this, it should have a component along the Z, either in this case plus Z, in this case it should be minus Z, right? It should have always. So I cannot have 
TM mode 0 0 which I am saying that TM 0 0 mode will not exist this is clear right if I take another thing is if m is equal to 0 and n equal to 1 what will happen again if you substitute here m is equal to 0 this quantity goes to 0 the whole thing goes to 0 it means t m 0 1 again will not exist right what about m is equal to 0 and sorry we will take we will take m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 0 again what will happen this quantity goes to 0 right so whole thing goes to 0 again we will say that t m 1 0 will not exist ok this mode will not exist ok this is clear what about m is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 if I put m is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 it would be something sin pi x by a and sin pi y by b right so it exists right now e z exists it means the minimum mode which exists in case of your t m mode is nothing but your t m 1 so it should be t m 1 1 so this is what is the minimum mode which will exist in case of your t m mode somebody can ask if I put m is equal to 2 what will happen yes you can put m is equal to 2 and another n equal to 2 it will also exist so t m 2 2 will also exist right but 2 0 will it exist again if you substitute 2 here 0 here again it will not exist right so now we know that if somebody asks that mode will exist or not we can easily calculate you have to just write this equation you have to substitute the values and check if the ez is not going to 0 right based on that we can conclude that whether that mode will exist or not right and we have also understood that what do you mean by a tm mode right we will see in the next videos what is called as te mode